What is going on you guys? My name is CPK and welcome to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Uh, this is the new Pokemon game for the Nintendo Switch and I'm going to be running it alongside my main videos uh, as second videos until I finish the game or feel like I'm finished with the game. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into this. I have been streaming Pokemon Let's Go Eevee over on my Facebook channel um, where I will leave a link to the description if you want to go check that out. Uh, so we are going to play through Let's Go Pikachu on the channel. Glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. And if you want to know how people tend to interact with these Pokemon, well, some people keep them as companions, others have them do battle. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. Now, why don't you tell me about yourself? Okay. So, what do we look like? Well, we need the palest dude. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, he's pretty pale. Let's go for that guy. How about a name? All right, we're going to go CPK, guys. Um, and, like, what's fun about this is that usually most people end their first episode, right? As they're about to get their first Pokemon. Because, like, I'm going to let my audience choose. We don't need to do that because we're getting a Pikachu. That's how the game works. I will talk more about the game in a minute when we're out of this main menu part. Um, just to explain to you guys what it is in case you don't know. Um, so this is our rival. He's our rival group right next door. What's his name now? Usually, he's called Gary. We're going to call him Ollie. Of course, we are. It was Ollie, was it? Yes, it was. A whole world is about to unfold before us, guys. His name is Ollie. Pikachu, hi! Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. CPK, my boy, your very own Pokemon tale is about to unfold. Oh, boy. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go! So. For any Pokemon fans, or for those of you who don't really watch Pokemon, and maybe you got into it around Pokemon Go, which was a huge thing for the Pokemon universe, um, this game is the original story of Pokemon, so Pokemon Yellow, Blue, and Red, um, from way, way back in the day. I still remember buying Pokemon Yellow for my Game Boy. Man, it changed my life. Um, but it's similar to Pokemon Go, and like, that's how you catch the Pokemon. You'll see as we play, it'll probably explain it better than I am. Uh, but right now we have to read this cute little email from Ollie. Here's what you need to know as a trainer. Press the A button to talk to all kinds of people. Tilt the control stick more, you can run. Plus, open up the menu by pressing X and save my progress. Okay, so we are going to get on with this and uh, see what happens. Up and at him. Oh, hey, Ollie. Morning, CPK. What's going on? You got one weird look on your face. Never mind that. I couldn't wait any longer, so I came to get you. Today's finally the big day. We're finally going to get our first Pokemon from Professor Oak and become real trainers. But before we do... I sent you an email, so go and check it. I was more annoyed that he sent me an email and I couldn't get uh, the potion out of my computer, which is what used to be like a big like, thing in the game, was that you could get a potion right at the start. Um, but yeah, I actually didn't look into this game at all, so the fact that it was catching Pokemon like Pokemon Go really caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting that at all, but I love it. So one of my favorite things about this is that we actually get to see Pallet Town in full 3D on a big old screen. I'm actually playing on like a proper monitor because it's through the Nintendo Switch. So no more handheld Pokemon. It's very exciting. So we're going to head into Professor Oak's lab. Hello. What's up, Ollie? Professor Oak's not here. Oh. And here are some Pokeballs. And uh, they have Pokemon in them. It doesn't tell you what it is, though. Um, and the reason I'm not exploring absolutely everything is just because I have been streaming the other version of this game on my Facebook page. As I said, so if you want to see some live Pokemon hunting, then you can go across and check out that link. I uh, stream on Facebook almost daily, guys, so definitely worth checking out. Let's go see what Oak's doing. Well, my good Pidgey, thanks for the help. I think I understand you all a little better now, thanks to this. Okay, off you go, Pidgeys. Ah, if we didn't see PK. Hello, Oak. Of course, I promised to give you and Ollie your Pokemon today, didn't I? In that case, why don't we head over to... Oh, I heard Pikachu noises. What is this? Hi. Oh my goodness. 
So cute. And this is where you first get your experience of it being like Pokemon Go. So, um, as you'll see here from the menu, we hold the Joy-Con at the screen. And we have, like, get ready bag. So we get ready with our Pokeball. And then we uh, throw a ball at it and hopefully try and get, like, an excellent on it. There we go. Very, very similar in style, obviously, to Pokemon Go. Um, which is very different to how I'm used to playing Pokemon as an actual game. But I actually had a lot of fun with it, honestly. And now we've caught ourselves a little Pikachu, which I'm very excited about. Pretty fine performance for a first time on my boy. Why don't you pick up that Pokeball and give the Pikachu you caught a name? Oh my god, it's alive. Where are you going? I've never seen such shenanigans. Whoa! Oh my goodness. Pikachu! Come back here. Okay, we're back in Oak's office. I swear there were only two a second ago, now there were three. Yep, yep. So I just caught one and it just went and threw itself right on that little center pedestal there. Yep, I've never seen that happen before either. How interesting. Well, boy, this is it. Take that Pokeball and keep good hold of it this time. All right. Thank you. Oh, I'll take my little Pikachu back. Come with me, Pikachu. I reached out and grabbed the Pokeball. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I booped his little head. This is so cute. Oh. What are you doing? Oh, my God. He tickled my finger. Look how cute this game is. Holy moly. What are you even supposed to do when it's this cute? Pikachu became your Pokemon. Nice. What a strange Pokemon indeed. It sure doesn't like to see, seem to like staying in one place. But it looks as though it's taking a shine to you. Pikachu. Why not give it a name? I'm actually not going to be naming things uh, throughout this. Uh, just because I felt like to have regular names. I can actually change them at any time on this game. Usually you have to go to the name changer. But you can change them at any time. So if I do decide to change my mind, I will let you guys know. If this first episode gets, you know, what? Let's say 1,500 likes. I'll let someone name one Pokemon from it. That's what we're going to do from now on. All right, let's leave. But before we go, now we're sitting out as trainers. They'd like to ask our help with something. Take this with you on your journeys. I will. Give me that Pokedex, bruh. Thank you. Records data on Pokemon you've seen are caught. Extremely high tech tool. So we're going to take this with us and we are going to uh, capture information on all the Pokemon in the world. Or in our region, anyway. That was always his dream, but he's an old man now. Too old to get the job done himself. He wants the young trainers to fulfill his dreams for him. All right. There's going to be so many Pokemon. This keeps getting better and better. I'm saying out right now, you should do the same. I'm ready. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Look how cute my little Pikachu is. So now, the way this game works is that you always have Pikachu following you around. Oh, hello. So what do you get from the professor? Cut yourself? That's amazing. What should I call your new friend? Pikachu is a lovely Pokemon. How energetic. We will be set off on an adventure. Thank you. Wow, Mom. Thanks. A map. Very useful, Mom. Very useful. Thank you. All right. So the way this works, as I was saying, Pikachu will always be following us around. As we catch more Pokemon, we can actually choose to have an extra one out with us, and Pikachu will sit on us. Uh, he'll, like, ride on our hat. Uh, it's incredibly cute. So let me show you how this works now. So we come out here. If you remember old Pokemon games, we would have to stand in the grass and run around for ages to try and find Pokemon. Now you can see the Pokemon before you run into them. So I can avoid them, or I can run straight into them. Uh, so, as you run into them and catch them, you gain XP. There is no battling except for against trainers. So, where you used to have to battle each fight, that each Pokemon that you ran into, now you only battle trainers. And all your XP is gained from winning those battles or catching these Pokemon. Um, so, as you'll see there, I got 36 XP. 
Now, my issue is here that from what I've played on the other game, it's a little easy. Um, because when you catch Pokemon, so here's a Pidgey look. Now when I catch the Pidgey, both of my Pokemon that I've already caught will get the experience. Now what you used to have to do on this game, like in the originals, is if you wanted all your Pokemon to be an even level, you had to do some very specific grinding. That aspect is gone, and you don't have to do that anymore. Um, because all your Pokemon level at a really similar rate. As you can see there, we get 40 XP. So, Oddish and Pikachu both get 40 XP. Which is kind of crazy. Um, but, it's not enough to put me off the game. I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, everyone's learning l moves right now. Uh, and then if we jump down here as well, I think I saw a Rattata down there. Uh, as long as it hasn't gone away. Nope, there it is. So we're just going to get a big varied bunch of Pokemon right now. That's the first thing we're going to do. Um, and it makes a lot of sense to catch as many as you can. Just because, like I said, that's how you get the XP in this game. So uh, we're just going to keep trying to catch them. What I'll probably do is cut out a lot of me just catching repeats of things. Because that's the equivalent of grinding on this game. Where usually Pokemon YouTubers would cut out a bunch of battling. I'm going to cut out me catching a bunch of Pokemon. So I will bring you guys back in once we are actually on our way to uh, the next city. Alright, so we are on our way to the next place now. We have a full team. I can show you that right now. Uh, and this is how the game works at first. I have a Pikachu, Oddish, Pidgey, Rattata, Rattata, Oddish. Um, and you can open your Pokemon box wherever you are now. You don't have to actually go to a Pokemon Center or anything. Um, so as soon as we catch six different Pokemon, we will actually vary the party up. But for now, we don't have the opportunity, um, sadly. Uh, some of the cool things your Pokemon that follows you can do is while you're running around, they can actually find items for you. Um, and this game actually has the berry system, which the original game did not. So you have things like raspberries, pinap berries, nana berries, all that good stuff. That was a, a huge throw. I threw out way too far. Oh my, no, I didn't throw it far enough. This is embarrassing. It's just a Pidgey. It's just a Pidgey. I'm embarrassing myself. Thank God. Oh my God. That would have been so bad if I missed that again. Um, the game is massively over generous with Pokeballs. Um... One thing that I used to always be cautious of when playing the normal game is that I would make sure I had Pokeballs everywhere I went. And this game basically just throws them at you, like, pretty much constantly. Um, just because, I guess it works in a similar way to Pokemon Go. You get them for beating trainers, you find three to five for picking up items, like, it's it's pretty crazy. Um, so, this guy here, it, oh, here you go, look, so, Pikachu just ran across this bush because he found something. Pikachu has within the plants, and it's a raspberry, and they work the exact same way that they do in Pokemon Go. Uh, let me just quickly check. I wanted to see if I had a girl or a boy Pikachu. I actually have a female Pikachu. Okay. So my Pikachu is a little female and uh, docile in nature. Okay, that's cool. I was just curious. It makes absolutely no difference to me, but uh, I've got almost all female team. Except this one little Rattata holding it down for the guys. So, when you catch multiple things in a row, so obviously this is going to be my second Pidgey in a row now, um, you get a catch bonus. Now, I'm not too, uh, a catch chain, basically. Catch combo, that's it. So, I'm not entirely sure what that does, honestly. I think the more catches of one Pokemon you get in a catch combo, um, yeah, you get better XP. So, I got combo bonus there, as you can see. Um, meaning that everyone gets 30 XP. So, we haven't even got Oak's Parcel yet, which is the first thing that you do in the game. And I'm already level 8 and 7, pretty much. So, like, it is crazy how quick it gives you experience. I've got a catch combo of 3 on Pidgeys. Meaning that if I was to keep catching Pidgeys, I would keep getting higher rated XP from the catch combo. Uh, now, we are in Viridian City. We're going to head straight across to the Mart, where a young man will... Uh, oh, I don't remember seeing Rocket here last time. What are you doing here, Twerp? Go pass to someone else. What do you want? You can't pass through here right now. We're in the middle of guard duty. Okay. So, we're going to go to the Mart. And this lovely man is going to tell us he has a package for Professor Oak. Also, I love that. You live in Pallet Town, you must know Oak, right? What makes you think that? Is it the fact that there's only three houses there? One's mine, one's my friend's, and one's is Professor Oak's lab. The town makes no sense. Uh, so that teleports us back here where we can give him the package that he has been waiting for. Not entirely sure why I'm the delivery man, but I am. Pikachu is incredibly cute. Also, his tail, tail looks like a little love heart, which is adorable. I don't know if that's on purpose. 
Okay, it used to be like a lightning bolt, right? But it's incredibly cute. It has come a true patterns in me already. Yep, here you go. Here's a parcel. No problemo. So, uh, I think this is where we get our first try at a battle. Where we actually get to battle against our rival, Ollie. Um, now, he just gave us some berries. That's just a way to, you know, bring you guys up to speed on how the berries work. Luckily, we already know because we've played Pokemon Go. So, we can either catch lots of different ones or we can focus on a few. So, let's try and leave and Ollie will try and be the big man and be like, let's battle. I mean, this is what I don't understand at this point. I have six Pokemon. <laughs> he has one. Pokemon Trainer Ali. So his Eevee is level 7, I think. Um, luckily, he'll be no match for me. Hopefully. Okay, he's level 6. So I have Thundershock off the bat, which is uh, like a great move to have. So we're going to use that uh, nice and early on to do a big chunk of damage. The battling is absolutely adorable. Like, look how cute these two things are that are fighting. It's kind of strange because they're just so adorable. I don't want to hurt each other, but they have to because this is Pokemon, and that's how this works. So we're going to hit one more quick attack, and it will be all over for Ollie's little Eevee. Goodbye, Eevee. 32 XP, and all the Pokemon in our party also get XP, and this is what I mean by the leveling being too easy. Did I lose? You did lose. I'm so sorry, sir. I'm so sorry. Yep. Train your Pokemon up. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Pikachu did seem to like it. So, uh, we can actually do this thing here. If we shake our Joy-Con controller left to right. Uh, oh, we actually can't do it yet. Okay. It, it's something that you get taught pretty soon. Now, let's talk to this lady. Hello! Look at Pikachu. You two are already looking like great partners. And I've got the perfect little gift for such a great team. You got sportswear from your friend's big sister. Put the sportswear in the clothing trunk. I can now put an adorable little outfit on my Pikachu. Isn't that unreal? Pikachu looks very happy. Oh, so here we go. This is what I was talking about. Partner play. So, uh... I can literally press A to pet the Pikachu. And we can, like, give his arms a little rub. And he gets, like, excited. Give him a little belly rub. And he gets like excited. We can give him a little head pat. And he gets excited. We can like we can like ping his tail. Look at that wobble. And uh, you know. This just helps your Pokemon stay extra, extra happy. Uh, and then when we're done with that, we can actually put him in adorable little outfits, which is what we're gonna do right now, because we need him to match us. So let's go to our bag. And we have a clothing trunk. Choose an outfit for Pikachu. So we're going to give him an adorable little sports cap. And we're going to give him the adorable little sports wear. Now we are matching. Look at us. We are so cute. It's unreal. And there's an oddish in our way. So we're going to catch this again. Purely for the experience that we would get. So we got 46 XP for that. Which is actually a lot. Um, for something so early on. And I think we get double kick here. Yes, we do. And Double Kick is essential because the first gym is Brock. Uh, and that's up against Geodudes and Onyxes. And um, Pikachu with Double Kick is actually now type advantage over them. Um, because fighting moves do are super effective. One thing I found when playing Pokemon Let's Go Eevee is that I didn't really ever have to change my Pokemon. Um, I actually managed to get all the way through to Misty without changing what Pokemon I had out. Um, and even then, it was only because I made a couple of mistakes. I actually had to do it. Um, for the most part, you can literally win every battle with one Pokemon, which kind of sucks because that's what I'm saying about the game being a little too easy, maybe. But I think this game was aimed almost at getting a lot of us to play it with the nostalgia factor, which a lot of me and my friends are. Um... But also bringing in a whole new audience to an easy access game that has features from Pokemon Go, which obviously a lot of people will recognize. I think it's fun, honestly. Um, if not a little, a little strange. Tucked Oddish away. Right, let's get back to Viridian, shall we? 
There's another oddish here which I'm gonna catch as well. Okay, and here's the guy from the Mart, who actually I was very excited, does still give me uh, a sample, which was a big thing for me. I remember that was like one of my favorite things back when I used to play this game, was that this guy just appeared and gave me a potion for the first time. That was my first potion ever. Uh, right, we are gonna keep pushing forward. I will catch things as I go, um, but I will probably cut a lot of them out just because, as I said, there's not really any content there. Unless we encountered a shiny or we got like a lot of XP or something, um, I'll probably cut out a lot of the captures. All right, so this time this kid has uh, got some Pokemon with him, so he wants to give us a little battle, which we are, of course, happy to oblige with. We are happy to fight youngster Ronnie. So uh, let's see what he's got. Rattata, probably level two or three. I don't imagine it's anything too crazy. Go Pikachu wearing sportswear. Cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm gonna double kick it just for insult to injury, but this is definitely gonna kill it. In one kick, okay, cool. Delivered a swift left volley to the head. Hit one time, nice. So we only get 12 XP. Literally less XP than catching a Rattata, honestly. But you see that we got three Pokeballs at the end there as well, um, which is like a new thing. I didn't used to do that. Hello, Ollie. Beat another trainer, good job. This is from the topic, your battle might lost some HP or PP. Nope, I didn't take any damage at all. All right, let's go in here. We're gonna heal up anyway, even though we don't need to, uh, because it actually counts as, uh, this is where you return to if you faint, your last Pokemon center, so. Worth going to each one in each town. If I remember rightly, there used to be an item down here. I'm guessing it's still gonna be the same. Oh no. Oh yeah, there we go, potion. I knew there was something. I remembered from being a child. Good old long-term memory. Uh, now there's actually nothing down this way. Um, there's usually some like Pokemon hovering around, I guess. Um, actually, there's nothing, doesn't seem to be anything here at all. Oh, there we go. There's a Rattata. Um, we actually need to be going up towards the top of the map, so more towards the north. Um, which is what we'll do now, which is going to move us towards the next city. Okay, so we've got a couple of Spearows here, which I'm actually going to catch one of these because we don't have a Spearow yet. And if we're going to complete the Pokedex, then we're going to need one. But also, it's a Pokemon we don't have, so we can add it to our party just for a bit of variety. Because we have two Oddishes, two Rattatas right now, so we can get rid of one of those and replace it with the Spearow. All right, so we added Spearow to our party. Now it is time to move upwards. And we are gonna head on Route 2, go towards our next location. Hopefully bumping into some new Pokemon along the way or some more Rattata. So we're gonna go ahead and take Oddish out of the Pokeball and Oddish will now travel alongside us. Um, so that means, as you can see, look, we have Pikachu on our shoulder and Oddish running around behind us as well. It's incredibly cute. I'm going to head on straight through into uh, the forest, which uh, is full of little uh, little bug fighters, bug boys who want to fight us, basically. All right, and this Pidgey has come and attacked us. Right, so this one's actually a level six, which is pretty high, actually. Uh, so it wants us to use a raspberry to calm it down. Now it's going to be easier for us to catch again. So we're gonna have a quick run around the forest. Oh, actually, a quick example over here. So this uh, metapod with things all around it, and there's a Weedle up there too. Uh, so blue circle around it means it's tiny. Red circle means it's huge. Um, so this is an absolutely tiny metapod. You actually get bonus experience for capturing these. Um, so we're gonna give it a raspberry as well because it's a second tier Pokemon technically. Uh, it's a little harder to catch. So hopefully we still manage to snag it, which we did, nice. So we should get pretty good XP for that because it was tiny. There's usually like a benefit. Yeah, so 48 is quite a lot at this level, especially. As you saw, everything just leveled up except Pikachu. Now we're gonna run around the outside here and go straight up to this uh, Weedle. And now if it's got red around it, it means it's huge. So we're gonna have an absolutely massive Weedle in terms of size and weight. Uh, let's just go ahead straight away and try and catch this right off the bat, hit it with a grate. Should not be too much trouble to catch. Um, and even though it's huge, it's probably not going to be crazy XP because it is such a basic Pokemon. Um, 32 XP though, actually pretty good. Actually pretty good. And we managed to find an antidote in the uh, little field here. Uh, what I am going to do very quickly is switch in that Weedle to our party. Now, it might not be the strongest Pokemon ever, um, but 
it is a variation on things that we have right now. So we're going to replace this Oddish. Uh, and now we actually have six different Pokemon, which is cool. So guys, I think I'm going to leave this episode right here. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. And if you want to see more, then make sure to leave a like. Uh, I'm very excited to have this game to be running alongside my regular videos. Hopefully you guys are as well. Uh, as I said, thank you all so much for watching. I can't believe that Caterpie just broke out of the ball. What is happening? It's a Caterpie. Why would it not want to be caught? Why would it not want to come on adventures with me? You want to live in the forest forever, Caterpie? Is that what you want? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get mad at you, Caterpie. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video.